<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. It is Tahira. What's my name? I forgot my name. What's my Kiki. name? It's Kiki. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> Hi, Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Are you right? <laughs> This is our theme song, guys. Sorry, we, we are being playful. Guys, we're going to talk about Kate Middleton. We want to bring you guys real solutions. We're going to talk about this from a metaphysical standpoint. Why is this happening? Not just to Kate Middleton, but to other celebrities as well. It's because this is the timeline collapse that is going on. That's what we're going to talk about. So you guys will understand why all of this is happening. We want to leave you with real life solutions. But this is Tahira, Mother of the Ages. I'm your supernatural quantum healer. I do past life regression, quantum healing sessions. And our session that I do with my beautiful sister, Kiki, um, <laughs> in the quantum <laughs> telekinetic Light language reading with remote healing. Girl, that's a mouthful. Book a session with us, guys. Details will be down below. Just email instructions number four, humanity at gmail.com. Go, Kiki. You are so amazing. I absolutely love your intro. My name is Kayahe. I am a quantum healer, telekinetic technician, and I work with my sister Tahira in all of our amazing quantum healing sessions where she uses her light language and we combine our gifts and we create this new modality and everyone's been loving it. So yes, definitely do look below if you want to book a session or a consultation or you're just interested. Yeah, let's have a chat. <laughs> awesome. Sounds so good. Guys, we also do have a six-week ascension program if you want to take your ascension to the next level but we need to heal all those soul tears those soul ties you know get you on the right timeline a lot of y'all on the wrong timeline this is what we're going to talk about today so you can also email for that too so let's talk about this what is really going on with Kate Middleton? What's going on with all the weirdness, the AI program videos, the the pictures all cropped and scrapped together? Like they don't have money. I keep saying these people are broke, but that's a story for another day. So Kiki, from a metaphysical standpoint, what is going on with this? Well, think about it. We are all in this together under the same universe picking up on the same energies and whether you're on the dark side or the light side, you're, you are being elevated. All gifts, whether you use light or dark, it's all being elevated mm. right now, right? Illuminated. So mm. this is, this is what it is. We have to look at them as, you know, regular beings, right? right? So when we think of it that way, this divine, Okay, is this the eclipse coming up? Is this yeah, what yeah. we're doing yeah, it's, right, it's, right? right. it's, it's the pre-eclipse phase, yeah. right? But yeah. trust me when I tell you, I've already I can't sleep. This energy is amplifying our energy fields, our psychic abilities, our abilities to decode mm -hmm. and you know, pick up on the synchronicities and the symbolisms and all this 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 unseen language, right? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, this is, um, it, it's really interesting because, you know, I've been saying that 2024 is 2020 all over again. So when you guys think about 2020, what happened? There was a shift in energy. And actually, I actually felt the energy of COVID in 2019. I didn't know it until it was, you know, announced, you know, a few months, you know, into the new year of 2020. We are in the same energy. And you know, it, it's really funny because we got the same thing going on. We got Biden, we got Trump, you know, it's almost like we got this new thing. There, There is another um, big event happening, going to happen. You know, it's all in the energy field. This is the same energy that was going on in 2020. It's the exact same thing. So it appears that we have shortened our cycles. Um, they're now like in four year cycles. There are two, four and eight. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, and you know that this is why all this is happening is because we live in little slits of times, guys. For instance, this is why it's hard to manifest. You don't know what, what timeline you sold your seed in. Right. You know, and what what a timeline in is, is really an energy uh, signature, right? So let's say you are, you know, in a really good place in your life and in your career and, you know, your hobbies, then you sow your seed, right? And that's where you put it. You put that energy stamp on it. But three, four weeks later, 
something happens, your business goes down to whatever. Now you're in another energy. And now you're trying to pursue that same seed that you sown, but you can't because it's on the other timeline. That is what a timeline is. It's just a shift in energy. And so the reason why all this is falling down, you know, and being exposed with the palace is because the timelines have collapsed because of all these different energies and frequencies are, are collapsing the universes. There's literal universes collapsing on each other. And so now it appears that we, oh, we can see the truth. We can see what's hidden. It's not that. It's just that everything is collapsing and it's all in real time now. Mm -hmm. It's a powerful energy. So I can just imagine if Kate is truly like, you know, behind closed doors tapping into her own, you know, spiritual practices. She's tuning into a lot of her own, um, you know, inner guidance system. And maybe her spirit guides, everyone has spirit guides. Maybe she was in communication with them and she was wanting to really step more into that way of living, you know, integrating her spirituality into her life, which is the opposite of what they're, what they're perpetuating over there at the palace, right? Yeah. So- Maybe yeah. that's what was pushing her away from the family and away from her position and away from her marriage. And maybe that didn't sit right with the husband and the queen and that whole, you know, monarchy. So it makes sense. Total sense. How many of us are going through that right now? How many of us are stepping into our illuminated path and leaving those relationships? She's yeah. no different. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's actually a good point because it's funny because, you know, Kiki don't even, Kiki does, this is why I love working with you because you don't keep up on none of this stuff. And so that's why you, you always validate my messages. So in the uh, video I did today or, or last night rather, but I showed it today. Um, yeah. She had said she had been meditating a lot. She had been communing more with that higher aspect of herself. And it was actually an energetic pull. It was calling her higher. And so naturally, if that pull to call you higher, naturally old things will have to fall away because it's a different timeline. A different mm -hmm. energy is a different timeline. So we can't even talk about the Kate Middleton situation without talking about the collapse of timelines. It is just because all the portals have been opened. The 2020 event opened a massive portal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It opened it. And that's why people are seeing skinwalkers. <laughs> you heard of those skinwalkers. Zombies. <laughs> yeah. Zombies. Zombie um, cells, girl. Zombie cells. Uh, yep. Clones. Yeah. That's why they got the uh, Kate Middleton 3.0 clones in the worst. <laughs> no, it's, it's true because I've seen it. They have three of them. Like two of them are clones and one of them is not a clone. It's almost like I'm getting the sense it's like some sort of robotic mm -hmm. um, whatever, but with skin flesh. And that one, that one is only used for like photos and like waving from far distances. It's not to be up close with the public, but guys, they're working on this stuff. And that's why we're going to see Kate Middleton again. We absolutely will, but it will never be that same Kate. It just won't be. And th this is getting freaky because mm -hmm. with the new technology and Kiahi, I'll let you speak to this because you are an energy medicine worker. Um, they can they have a way where they can take your essence and almost like home, was it like homeopathically imprint it on the clone? Go ahead and speak to that. <laughs> well, my whole world is quantum, you know, um, before I even knew the word quantum, I already understood that I understand, I, I, I could see and witness my own self manifesting my whole life, right? Because a lot of places I've been, a lot of things I've done, there's no one in my family that have done that and so I'm like how did I how was I able to, to create this and be here right now and it's because I understood that in order to manifest you have to break outside of what you understand about about creation right and creation is how you think how you feel and what you do becomes reality right so when you are having a conversation with someone or you witness someone or you rub up, up against someone that feels stagnate, there's a stagnation in their energy field where I can feel them become very dense. And I know, I know when they're either more particle or more wavy. And that's kind of how I understood quantum, right? So when we talk about quantum, it, it's like a, it's like a spark, 
right? It's that spark energy. So if someone doesn't have that spark energy, I'm already putting them in that category. They're either a zombie or a clone. I would, I would just call them that. But really now people, other people are seeing them. They're like, guys, I'm seeing zombies now more and more. We know we work with a lot of people yeah, you know, and we go into their timelines and their se deep sessions. And yeah, there are actual zombies. But the way that I think about it is just people that are, you know, just they're clones. They're not active. They're, they're, they haven't come alive. They haven't stepped into their illumination. They're still in the shadows. Right. And so, you know, what I was getting at is that these clones, the guys, these are not the clones of yesteryear, but we've been <laughs> had clones forever. I mean, I'm talking 17, 1800s. I don't even know, probably before, of course, and all of the ancient, you know, texts, they, they've been doing this in the, in the ancient uh, worlds already. Um, but they have a way they can imprint her, we all have technology inside of us. We have uh, celestial DNA, we have cosmic DNA, we have all these templates, right? And then we have our, you know, our structured, you know, st standard DNA. We have, you know, the monochondria or whatever it is. They have a way of imprinting. It's not the real actual thing, but it's like a replica essence where they can almost download that information. So when this clone starts talking, it can not only have the essence of, what it ate last week, but it got the essence of past lives. And this is how these clones are gonna seem so real because they're not just gonna have the information from this life. And because you can, believe it or not, you can still spot a clone. You can spot a clone because they're carrying a different signature, a different frequency rather that is not, that we don't have here. We've had a few hybrids pop up in our sessions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> And it's like, just say, girl, you a hybrid. You don't have to pretend that you're like a real person up in here. Like we, I mean, you read energy. So you, we're not, but it's like they show up and they think that they can just hide that aspect. Like we're going to know, we may not say anything to you, but we're going to know because of you're carrying a different energy signature. But these clones, this Kate Middleton clones that they are creating, they've gotten so sophisticated with it that this thing is able to carry a signature, a soul signature of, of, of a regular person that has been a sparked soul for a very long time. It's going to be, if you are not awakened, if you're not part of this shift, this timeline collapse, um, inversion, I'm hearing a timeline inversion, mm -hmm. conversion, conversion. If you're not part of this, you're not going to be able to spot the real from the fake. And it won't just be Kate, it won't just be the clone 3.0 Kate. It's going to be your food too. You're going to have three pairs in a row. Which one is the 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 new clone version with all of the cellular memory in there? And which one is the real thing? So it gets really deep that we have to shift. We have to make this shift in order to see the truth. Sorry. That is interesting you said that because you know when I have food delivered sometimes, groceries delivered sometimes. I would not even eat the fruits that were delivered to, I would have never picked that grape. I would have never picked that apple. And yeah. I, it just goes directly into the trash. I'm like, who would have picked this fruit and delivered it to me guys. And I take for granted, you know, the work that we do, I take for granted that these things kind of like, you know, are just, you know, ways that I, I, you know, that I operate, but when we are, you know, in this new, in this new world, guys, it's important to everything is relevant. Everything is giving you information. You know, right. you have to stay present. You have to stay aware. You have to engage in your, in developing your own spiritual gifts. You know, this is how you're going to navigate through this new world now, or you know, what, what's going to happen? What's yeah. going to happen? It, it's so funny that you say that. This is what I'm saying. And and mind you guys. Okay. So the sort of channeling we do now that when, once you've made this shift, it's just conversational. There is no like sitting down, mm -hmm. you know, no, that we don't have to do that anymore. And, and, and it's, it's a weird feeling, but like all this stuff is coming right now. This is what, what is being known 
expressed right now, you know, from the collective cloud. But yeah, you you're right about that. Those are not real fruits you're looking at. And you know, because you are a real spark soul. But the person who picked it obviously was not a real spark soul because they would have picked up on the energetic signature that that was not the right piece. You see what I'm saying? There's more clones than we think. Think about that. If that person could not tell the food that was born for them to, to, to bring them substance, if they can't tell that, then are they not a clone? Are they not a zombie? I've always called them zombies. Sorry, no judgment, but that's just how I categorize someone who is just they're unable to pick up energy signatures and now with like you said it's so important this the food the food is getting worse and worse it's getting more modified and more modified there's no energy life force in it there's no information in our food anymore and you know yeah so just it's just crazy I'm just like this is wild I can't even believe we're talking about this and speaking of that How many people have you been in a relationship with? And I can speak to this. Look, no, seriously, everyone just look back on the people that you've been in relationships with, whether it's romantic or friendships. A lot of these people have not been real. This is what I'm saying. And when you, all this, this timeline collapse, and when you really step through this portal, like we, we've already stepped through the birthing portal and made the quantum leap to this timeline, right? Um, that's why how me and Kiyake met. We met on our sovereign path, on our sovereign timeline. Um, but you look at your relationships. A lot of these people have not been real. Um, I literally look back at certain relationships and it's almost as if I could type into Google the things that they've said to me and I will find it at the first search. Seriously. And this, the first one or the second? The second no, answer. First, you first. Uh, it's, this, it's, these people are also clones, guys. A clone doesn't have to just be generated outside of a womb. This is where we're going to. A lot of clones came in here. Your parents made love to have clones. There are some people that are still clones. I don't care if they came out of a woman's body. They are still don't have the energetic signature, the soul frequency, the sparked residue from the cosmic sphere. They are not real people. That's what I'm saying. And it gets dangerous too, because these are the monitoring spirits. They're literally there yep. gaining intel yep. from your from your spark energy, from your creation, your ideas, your energy, you're feeding them all of this, building up their entire career or whatever they're working on. And it's all from ciphering all that information out of you, out of a sparked soul, yep. you know, and, 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 and they're mirroring their mirrors too. They're just mirroring back to you, your own energy. It's not even them. Not even them. And how many, oh my God, how many years did we go through this? And it's, it's so funny because when you see yourself, when you clear other energies out of your path and you get on your sovereign path, you will see how fast you are creating. You're creating in your sleep. You're manifesting in your sleep. It's effortless. It's like when you walk, you're just a walking manifestation machine because those people were not meant to be on your path. And matter of fact, they were holding you back because they were ciphering your energy, telling you that you weren't this and that and cloaking themselves in your energy. So then that you won't, when you look at the reflection of yourself, you don't actually see your true essence. You know, a lot of the times when, when we are kind of in the lower frequency, you know, in order to really see your true self and uh, because every relationship should be a true reflection, but you have to, you know, be conscious and already on a high vibration. But a lot of people are getting tricked. A lot of, a lot of men and a lot of women in these relationships are walking around with your soul essence. And I like that Kate wanted to free herself from that. I'm sorry, guys, we're getting off top, but this is also relevant. Um, She was evolving. Um, she was growing, she was expanding. Motherhood did that for her. And mm-hmm. she knew that she could no longer be a part of the system that does not allow such freedoms. She was caged. She was absolutely caged. 
And I suspect, I suspect that she wanted to create a more public viewing of her spirituality. Maybe she wanted to create some sort of a spiritual center, mm. you know, where women could gather and they could, I, I have a feeling like it was something that she wanted to create publicly that they were blocking from her. Interesting. I never, you know, it's so interesting because we never think about that when we think of Kate, because Kate can play the game really good. She played that system like nobody played this role. She was spotless because she did exactly what they said. But but to your point, you don't know what she really wanted to do because she was playing a role. So everything is possible. Everything's possible because she did say in my last reading she was meditating a lot that she was elevating in her spirituality. So that kind of does make sense. It happens. This is so common. Think about all of the women we work with, you yeah. know, are snapping out of, well, they're wanting to snap out of it, which is why, you know, that's kind of what happens after our sessions. They actually get that, that ejection from, yeah. from that skin that they were in yeah. and that, you know, it's, yeah, it's a whole timeline, guys. It's a whole timeline shift. It is. Yeah. It's a timeline yeah. shift. I believe that's what she was trying to create. She wanted to create, she wanted to start integrating her spirituality into what into the way that she was living. And how was she living? She's royalty. She has a job, right? And she is a public figure. And she has the power to create anything she wants, businesses, worlds, you know, um, initiatives. And so maybe it was a spiritual initiative, not yeah. maybe, I know it was, I know it was. Okay. That, that sounds, yeah. Yeah. A spiritual initiative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That resonates with me. She wanted to go on a journey, you know, maybe a one year spiritual journey, you know, that's what these times, that's what these eclipse portals do. You know, it wants to move you onto your, your spiritual path, onto your new timeline. It wants to illuminate you. It's pushing you to step into your illumination and out of the shadows, out of the shadow you, not your shadow. Your shadow will evolve with you. And that's a whole nother topic. But as far as stepping out of the shadows, meaning out of, yeah, out of, out of the, out of the light that was created for you instead of through you. Right. That's, this is, this is good. This is good. So, um, I want to talk about the eclipse and everything, but let's, let's do that in a separate video. So we'll, we'll end this one in like two minutes. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of from a spiritual standpoint, guys, when we look at such things and I know these people are like our favorites and, you know, we look up to people, but the shift, it doesn't exclude royalty. The shift, we're all part of this ever expansive universe. And it's all of us. We put our stamp in the one big Akashic soul, you know? And um, we we are humanity is wanting to express the higher aspect of ourselves. And anytime we're in a higher vibration and frequency, truth naturally has truth naturally has to guide that. And and that's simply what's going on with the whole Kate Middleton. And that's why all of the pictures and videos are being found to be fraudulent, because no one can hide from the timeline conversion, the timeline shift, the timeline collapse, right? This new frequency. Okay, you want to close it out for us, Kiki? Uh, thank you for saying that It th you can't hide from this. No one can hide from this energy. No one can hide from this shift. No one can hide from, from your evolution now. You will be you will be evolving at rapid speeds. And so I suspect a lot of, you know, more wonderful things to keep up with in this topic. And, you know, our rest in peace to our beloved Kate. Yeah. But how do you know? How do you know that she's no longer living? I don't. I, don't, <laughs> I just feel it. You I do? feel it. Energetic, minute. Energetically, okay. you know, maybe it's just her clones there now because we did that session. We did that healing session. And I, I felt her son, the youngest one that we were going in to heal. She yeah. said, she yeah. said on, on the, on that path and let him know what was, what was up. 
Yeah, I forgot about that. I was like, wait a minute. Do you, are you channeling that too? Like this so could be all that, new yeah, During that session, yeah, during that session, she kept, remember when she was saying, trust what you feel, yeah, trust what you right, feel, because she was putting on his heart one day when he's a certain age, that, that message that she imprinted on him, which is the truth, he's going to remember it. And right. that's why she was saying, trust what you feel, because he's going to, he's going to come into the truth. And it's not what everyone's going to tell him. It's going to be what he remembers and it's going to be spiritual, right? And after she, um, she, that that was her goodbye. That was her goodbye stamp on his energy right. field. Right, 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 right. Okay. So yeah. that's how I know she kind of like, that was her goodbye. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, um, let's pick up this in another I'm video. Like, I'm so, so hot. Video, oh my gosh. Video will not be too long. So we're going to pick up in another video, but thank you guys for, for watching and we will see you in the next one. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.